What's up, everybody? Hope you're doing good. I'm drinking some fresh juice here. This is like pure natural African stuff. No funny manga manga business inside. Pure. No added additive. Freshly squeezed. What did you put in here? Watermelon? Pineapple? Pineapple? Mango. Mango. These are original. Trust me, if you live in the US, you probably don't really know what a real watermelon tastes like. <laughs> no shade. I'm just being honest with you. So next time you travel to Africa, why you don't know what real watermelon tastes like? Probably you've never really tasted. Probably, probably, probably. Don't miss that word. Probably never tasted. Uh, pure organic, like undetter, untouched uh, watermelon. It's it's different. I, I, know, I know what I'm talking about. Thank you very much for being part of this. It was a great pleasure. I love my energy sometimes. Eh? Don't you? <laughs> So I got some pizza here too. Okay, these are all made pizza too. I'm going to indulge into it later. So I'm actually craving, but let me fix you first, then I'm gonna get back. Okay. So thank you very much. Uh San Bonani, Bafuetu, Dumelang, Tobela. I greet you all. Bite to all the Rwandis people. Uh, Makuru Nimeza to all the Burundian. Do you say I'm Makuru for Burundi as well? Jebaleko Basebonabanyabo, Uribulunji, Ugandans, uh, Kenyans, and I'm not going to greet everybody. Sorry, not today. Okay, so uh, the leader of the, I'm not going to say the word because we're getting sanctioned. Unfortunately, you, certain subjects you can't talk about clearly. I'm sorry, I have to, I, I'm, I'm trusting your cerebral ability to understand the message. So the leader of the, has authorized now priests to bless men and other marriage. You get it? I'm sorry, I'm going to have to talk this way, okay? I think it's also stimulating to the brain because you just like hearing information going through. Also, I think it's going to help us understand who did well in class. <laughs> okay, so the leader of the... It's authorized blessing of... Okay, so it sparked a lot of reaction all over the world. I mean, it's been uh, a pleasure for them, people who practice that, and a displeasure, really displeasure for a lot of people that trusted in the, you know, church. So it's very, very confusing for a lot of people. Uh, we all know that those practice is a controversial topic in Africa, uh, a continent where many people have strong and very conservative views on those practices okay so many africans don't necessarily believe in that yes you'll find some africans that practice that but most of the time it's by they hide themselves okay they either hide themselves if i say only one country really in africa really is open uh, to very tolerant and that's south africa south africa is probably the most tolerant african country uh regarding men that want to be with you know uh, yeah South Africa is the only place where people don't really get. In some places, you're gonna get. Um, yeah, they're gonna give you left hand you know, jab and double jab and stuff. It's not nice. Okay, it's definitely not nice. Shouldn't be allowed at all. Everybody has the right to peace and security. Like I said to you earlier, in many places in Africa, they're not okay with that. They don't want you to do that in public. Okay, they want you to do whatever you want to do in private, but don't come in public and you know and show. Yeah. And not only Africa does that, uh, same as Dubai. If you go to Dubai, uh, it's not authorized. You can't do that. You can't do that in Saudi Arabia. In many other places, you, you cannot do that. Okay, so in Dubai, also, whether you are a married couple, husband and wife, you cannot show affection in public. Do you know that? Yeah, you can't. You can go play, you can do whatever you like, but you can't hold all and kiss and kiss in public. It's not authorized. And people go to Dubai and still respect that. Whether they are officially married or not, they still respect that. Now, I guess when it comes to Africa, don't you think people should respect African decision? Do you think they should or should not? I don't know, you tell me. So, there's been a lot of reactions, a lot of reaction from Africans, starting with the Nigerian group of bishops. So, these Nigerian people are not happy at all. They reprimand their leader. I'm not going to say his name because, yeah, we're getting censored. So, the Nigerian have reprimanded the leader. They say it is not possible in the to bless unions and activity between people of the same. You know what I mean? This would go against the law of the teaching of the. It's unacceptable. 
So they say this is a decision of himself as a human being. Uh, it's not a decision from, so they're not going to comply with that. How do you feel about that? Do they have the right to stand? I mean, look, this is a place where people go to talk to the Most High. Okay, people tend to have personal relationships. I mean, how does it feel if all of a sudden the chief says, okay, from now on you're going to do something you personally feel like it's not okay? How do you feel? Frustrated, right? Disappointed. Um, yeah, rejected. Uh, uh, confused, right? So what are we going to do about this? Let's see some of the reactions of Africans. Many Africans now are not very happy. So some guys say, as a Christ, I am very embarrassed with what the did. He represented himself, not the role of the Christ, not at all. This is Larry. This is Mary Lesiba of South Africa. She said, how can he say that he's a Christ when he's busy approving such things? Alain Bravo from Cameroon says, the decision does not make sense to me. It makes some of us start doubting really and feeling reluctant or trying to lose my faith. Such, such strong reaction worries Francis Mpakasanu, a devout religious guy from Southern African country, Malawi. You know, Africa has a lot of countries, eh? like 54, plenty of it. It's not just one country. So when you're going to Africa, you're going specifically to a specific country. Different cultures, different traditions. Yeah, we all look the same, but yeah. When we know each other, we even look, we all even know we have some, some of, you know, different phonetics, different faces, but we love each other. But it's, yeah, very full. Lots of things to learn. Anyway, many Africans are not happy about this. Now, my question is this. Um, is he going to allow... Um, <laughs> is he going to allow polygamy as well I'm, I'm just thinking like i mean a lot of africans want to be po polygamous okay and don't judge them because that's their choice right you say you must respect other people's choice isn't that what you said democratic countries need to respect other people's choices so some africans are polygamous meaning men with many women two four maybe usually with men with a lot of money, they want to have many wives. And there's nothing wrong with that, trust me. If you've experienced it, you know what it is. And uh, again, I know many people think, oh, why would you have a lot of wives and stuff like that? You're not going to be happy. Well, who says to you that monogamous marriages are the only happy ones? No, unless you've experienced it, unless you've seen it with your own eyes. You don't know what it feels like. In fact, Africans, let me tell you, Africans, I know I'm going to trigger many people, I don't care, as long as we progress intellectually. It's okay to be triggered. Just don't be immature about it. Be triggered. Get some time to think about it thoroughly with no emotions. Read about it. Do some research about it. Don't just react like a little girl, little kid. Like, ah, why do you say that? Now go do some research about it. Many Africans in the past were not jealous when, let me say, the husband had multiple wives. I'm just saying. They were not jealous. Many have learned jealousy after colonialism. Yeah. Many Africans were groomed to be wives of... Uh, multiple wife of a chief of a king of a leader it was no issues in fact i grew up in an environment where i saw a, a family where there was one father and two mothers okay and these two mothers were the best friends in the world they were everywhere together like everywhere if you see one you see number two they were always together and they had a huge massive family i think they had about 14 kids together or something and the mother number one could punish the kids number of, of the wife number two with no issue and nobody's going to say a thing. Um, mother number two could punish the kids of wife number one. Say, you, don't do that. And nothing is going to happen. There's no fighting with each other. They're happy. You know, I've seen that with my own, my own eyes. And I've also seen, well, happy monogamous couple and unhappy monogamous couple. Some people get married. Oh, elsewhere, people will not divorce. If monogamy was the way, many monogamous people will not divorce. Why do they divorce? It means, uh, yeah, when it comes to that, there's no issue. So my problem is this. If uh, people should be allowed to do whatever they want to do, we've seen them come to Africa asking presidents to allow it into their countries. Barack Obama came to Kenya, had a talk with Kenyatta at the time. If you look at the history of countries around the world, when you start treating people differently, not because of any harm they're doing anybody, but because they're different, that's the path whereby freedoms begin to erode and bad things happen. And when a government gets in the habit of peop treating people differently, those habits can spread. He had a talk with Kenya to ask him to, do, you know, to allow it in Kenya. It's very difficult for us to be able to impose on people that which they themselves do not accept. This is why I repeatedly say that 
for Kenyans today, the issue of gay rights is really a non-issue. We want to focus on other areas that are day-to-day -day living for our people. The health issues that we have discussed with President Obama, these are critical. Kenyatta said no. We have other issues, we have other priorities in our country. That is not our priority. They also went to Zimbabwe asking the Zimbabwean president to do that. They went to Ghana asking the same thing. Okay, so if they're going to ask us to accept that, when are they going to allow polygamy? I'm just saying, like, are they going to allow polygamy in the state now and Belgium and Germany and stuff? Or it just goes one way. Just what they want is okay, what other people want is not okay. This must be very troublesome for many people. And I can understand how traumatic this is. You can imagine how traumatic this is. Be. Because trust me, many people perceive the man as the man. Okay, like he makes no mistakes. Now imagine you firmly believe that he, he's made a mistake. How shaken is your faith right now? I don't know, fellas. Let me know how you feel about this. Um, I'm not preaching to be polygamist. That's not what I said. I'm saying that in Africa, in many places in Africa, especially West Africa, you find a lot of polygamist people. Uh, they live in peace. They're happy. They love each other. It's fine. It's part of their culture. And especially when you grew up as a little girl, you've been taught that it's okay to have a husband and share him. It's fine. You have no jealousy. No. And, and by, the, by, by the way, back in time when all those things were being taught, there was no fake friends. There was no uh, red pill. None of this nonsense you're seeing today existed in the past. So in some ways, we can say there was some positive about it. Obviously, there's negative in everything in the world. But it's not positive. Let me know how you feel about this. Uh, Nigerian, I'm not happy. Okay, Nigerians, uh, they say no, they reject that. What's going to happen? Are they going to be fired? Because, yeah, some people have been fired like that in the past. There's an American who got fired by the same man because he refused some of the things that he said. So are these people in Nigeria get firing, firing very soon. So it's a great pleasure. God bless.